Well, the dust is yet to settle over the increase in electricity tariff and hike in pump price of fuel in the country. The movement for the survival of Ijo ethnic nationalities in the Niger Delta has approached former President Goodluck Jonathan to appeal to the federal government for a downward review in recognition of the harsh economic realities. Rejecting the Water Resources Bill, the group also reaffirms its stance on resource ownership and self-determination. For Vitami George reports. The hike in fuel price and increase in electricity tariff are still subjects of national discourse with labor and the federal government still on the negotiation table. Aye, so. It is one of the reasons the movement for the survival of Ijo ethnic nationalities in the Niger Delta is meeting with former president Goodluck Jonathan in Yenagoa. Hike in electricity and also in pump price will be like a serious burden on the life of the downtrodden Nigerians. We want to plead with you to please call on the former president so that the next National Council of State meeting that you also lend your voice so that the downtrodden can have a succor as a result of the persuasion that you're going to give to the government in power right now. Thank you for coming to give me the responsibility so that when next I see the president, when we're having the conversation, I can also read some of these things and if there are areas I could make suggestions. That is the essence of the Council of State where all former presidents belong so that you can have that platform to make those uh, suggestions. Another subject of concern for the Mosient is the water resources bill and the agitation for resource ownership. As a job people, we stand firmly on resource ownership and self-determination. The recently introduced water resource bill is obnoxious. It is one that wants to convert the wealth of 60% of those living in the Lituria states in Nigeria. That's that bill, we have written a letter, a position paper to the National Assembly to ensure that that bill does not see the light of the day. The youth build society and the society belong to the youth. And I always say that if you're a leader, you become a governor and become a president, if you don't think of your grandchildren, then you are not planning for the development of your people. How do we make our children and grandchildren live a better life than today? That is what we should uh, work on, and I believe we'll get there. Hi, Joe. Yeah. The former president enjoins the group to always pursue the path of peace and explore legitimate means of resolving crisis in the country. Of Vietnamese Joe.